Jibaba Ungwenyama Hi Babas Hi Babas Hi Babas Hi Babas special guest with us today this is my babe his name is jazz as in the genre of music uh, jazz okay so this is the first video we have for the year so welcome 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 back um, if you're here for the first time don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe if you want to be part of the notification gang don't forget to switch on those notifications um, and if you are returning, Happy New Year, lover, and welcome, welcome back. I um, really wanted to introduce you guys to my new baby, ow. So he does still bite a bit, he's, he's a mom, he's a mom. So he still does bite a little bit, well, a lot, uh, he still bites. So obviously he's going to unlearn that as he stops being a puppy, but He's like puppy naughty. Um, we are. I think it's been just over a week um, when I've had when I've gotten him at home, and I'm just going to insert some footage of when I actually went to go ah, and fetch. Hey, son. So today is quite an exciting day. I am off to go fetch my puppy. Um, yeah. So I guess you guys will get to see that. I'm quite nervous. Um, yeah, I think nervous is the word. I need to drive out because uh, it's an hour out. So I've just got like an hour and something to get the, the things that are outstanding. And then I become a mom. This one mom. And then, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share. And do all the good things, man. New Year must be right, must be within. Jazz, hello. You can't get out. You're gonna fall, yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, my brother. Listen guys, this engine, this dog wants to sit on my lap, it wants to lick me, it doesn't want to drink its food. Like I had to stop, put water in a bowl, this probably will spill <laughs> everywhere. Um, and we still got an hour's drive, like we've literally been driving for five minutes. And this engine, I just want him to sleep. But I've already poured water, I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh, but here's some water in Jibaba's. Jazz, Baba, you want to lick me? You want to, when must I drive? You want to be on a lap? You just met me five minutes ago. You literally met me five minutes ago. This terrorist, I had to drive the whole way with him sitting on my lap like this. Terrorist, Dilly. Please look. <gasps> oh, shame. I wanted to pee pee. Sorry, Papa. Sorry. Okay. It's fine. We're going to wash it. We're going to wash it. Okay. This is home, babes. So 
um, I actually got um, Jazz at a breeder, Black Leash Boston Terriers. Um, oh, just a profile on Jazz. Jazz is a Boston Terrier. Ow! Also known as an American gentleman. As, oh, uh, he's currently nine weeks old. I got him at eight weeks. And guys, he is a handful. Come say hi. Come say hi. Come say hi. Oh, I cannot quasi get terrorist in Dini. You are such a terrorist. Oh. <laughs> Jazz, come say hi. Come say hi to the people, terrorist in Dini. Say hi. Say hi. When? She isn't potty trained as of yet, so that's been a lot of the work that we've been doing in the first week. So when I went to go fetch Jazz, I got this cute little uh, goodie bag from the breeder. I got this cute little goodie bag from the breeder. The breeder is, as you can see, black leash. In the goodie bag, we got a we got a cute little blanket from the breeder. So he loves this. He loves to pull it out of his crate. We got a turtle which he loves to destroy. You'll see it in some of the footage. Chew toy, um, and also we got this other small tennis ball that I don't know what he's done. He's probably taken it out into the bush because he takes his toys out. We also got um, some of the food from the breed. Ah, boy, boy. We got some of the food from the breeder. Um, so what they do advise is that you keep the dog on the same diet for the first. Okay, let me let you go. Was this the back dal? There are your toys. In a boy, boy. Toys is zone, Um and so what they do advise is that you keep the dog on the same diet for about like two weeks or so, or you gradually phase well not all, you have to gradually phase them out so they don't get like stomach irritation, etc. etc. So um we've been using what the breeder has and then I think when you go to the vet I'm gonna try and um, ensure that I get an idea of the best kind of food that I should be um, giving him or like the best. Oh sorry. Or the best kind of diet that I actually should be giving him. Um, and then another thing that Ujaz loves is it came with some puppy treats. I think one thing about potty training is that potty training is number one very difficult. Um, the puppy itself, the bladder isn't necessarily good. So, or like since they're young, they can't hold their bladder for too long. It's like especially for me because i'm a first timer and um, so i just need to learn his ins and outs to actually get him trained um today i had like my first meltdown because i wake up so we have a schedule right i think that's one the first thing i did was ensure that we have a schedule whereby the schedule or schedule anything but the first thing i did was to set up times whereby we feed right so it's trying to get him into the routine of of, of feeding um and i set alarms and whatnot and it becomes difficult because sometimes he's not interested in eating sometimes he's so it's also trying to find the rhythm between when is he obviously you get your recommendations with regards to what how much food you need to feed him also just the style or how he enjoys his food becomes important so you have to learn that and there we go dinner time but this child doesn't want to listen guys he's trying to get on that couch still Why is there a trap symbol? Ooh, it's because you've washed. But you don't Now that you've washed, oh, you don't want to eat this food anymore. But you were eating it. Why? Do you want to sleep? I'm telling you, Bob. Do you want to sleep? Okay. First, let's go wee wee and then. Maybe this time is maybe half past seven is too late for you to eat. 
or to look for another time. You know, we win, eh? I actually spent, I think, about five days sleeping in the lounge with him. So he sleeps in the lounge, I sleep in the room now. But I spent about five days um, sleeping in the lounge with him so that he doesn't feel scared or, or, or like panics because I mean it's a new environment for him to try and adjust. I initially thought I was going to actually sleep in the bedroom with him, um, but I can't do that because there's a carpet. And for him, carpets mean peeing. Like it means peeing, it means doodling, it means doing everything, partying. Um, I've even removed my carpet in the lounge, so my lounge looks a bit different, but yeah, it, it is what it is rather than. So just a few things over and above. Um, over and above, obviously the beds, the, 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 the shampoos, the whatever, the whatever. Um, something that I'm currently using to potty train jazz um, are these training pads. He hasn't taken to them very well yet. Like he has his days when you're like, oh my gosh, like zero accidents and you're proud and you're happy and you're like, you know what? I could even do enough. I could even get another pet because your this one is. Then, as soon as you feel like that, he will show you flames because the next day he won't sit, he won't pee on the puppy pad at all so it's been quite difficult as well to try and get him to ensure that he um he uses the puppy pad and not the floor because i've had to mop like twice a day which is quite exhausting um and clean up obviously every time he, he has an accident um but i mean i've always grown up with dogs but the issue is that my parents had potty trained all of our dogs. So I didn't understand the work that actually goes into potty training. So for Jazz, um, initially I just started with like a bedtime so that I can sort of time when I wake up and take him to the bathroom. But Jazz does what he wants to do, guys. Like you try, but he's just stubborn. He does what he wants to do when he wants to do it. But I still do try to some extent with um, like some sort of routine is I wake up at like 12 take him outside so then he can if he needs to like poo poo or pee let me say potty so if he needs to potty he gets time to potty um, he doesn't the 12 o'clock now compared to last week is not necessarily that important um, and then I also take him out at 4 a.m. as well um, and then thereafter at about like 6 I open the door so that he can just a go for himself so even if it even if i i do wake up at, at five or six and i get back into bed i just ensure that the door is open so he can go because he's quite good to be honest when it comes to um pulling because he does it outside um most of the times unless it's raining because he doesn't like the rain and he doesn't like he divale. he doesn't like the rain he doesn't like the cold um so that's when we have an issue or when he's just being weird like today when we had our moment a time out from each other um when i'd taken him outside to go and pee pee and do his business to go and party and then as he didn't really, he peed and he didn't do anything else so i was like okay we waited we waited we waited and then we came inside and as soon as he came inside he went into my room and partied so, <clears throat> ow! Duh. As you can see, I've been bitten and now I'm bleeding. Jazz! Let me actually pick him up because I gave him. Need to relax, mister. Need to relax. So, some other cool things. Ah, 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 ah. Calm down. This is why I'm holding you because you're not calming down. And it's past the bedtime. So another, some other cool things that um, I ended up getting for Jazz, which is very useful. Got this off Take a Lot. It's like a silicone toothbrush. So you like, it's it's easier because you use it like with your, you use your finger. Well, it feels like you're using your finger. Um, he also isn't hurt by the toothbrush. So a lot of good reviews on this for dogs and for cats. Um, nothing that I got, and I think it's also important, is his. Um, what's it 
pet toothpaste. So they usually taste quite nice for dogs and whatever. So he usually enjoys brushing his teeth. Brushing our teeth. Anna? Brush. <laughs> and so, yeah. Another thing that I ended up doing is because I picked up that Jazz has a bit of den instinct. So I learned this from like somebody's YouTube channel because that's how we're raising our dogs from YouTube. Um, I learned it from somebody's YouTube channel where um, they really speak about the fact that um, some pets um, have like den instincts or they because they of wolf descent and whatever some of them like to be alone so jazz here is very energetic when he's around you unless he's in your hand, arms like this then he wants to sleep sleep as you can see then he wants to sleep on my okay let's put him to bed is it like ah so put up on my heart just a mama come on la la get up so unless he's like in your and he licks before he falls asleep he licks you then farts then falls asleep <laughs> but um so um, oh so what i learned is that because um dogs are sort of like of wolf descent um what you do find in some dogs is that they have den instincts so they like to go away and be enclosed and whatever so i really uh, picked that up with jazz there's a specific bush that he likes to go in and sit in and like when he came out when he comes out of the bush he always feels like rejuvenated and happy and whatever so what i ended up doing is i ended up getting like an, an air box for him I'm an air box slash carrier slash whatever um and i've also created a page for jazz so i will be uploading like an igtv of that air box that i got but he loves it he actually prefers it to his bed um and he loves to go and sleep in there it's nice because um it's like a carrier box so i can take it when i like if i go to the airport with him or when i go to the vet etc etc look at him falling asleep and tell boy um etc etc um so yeah that's that's a nice thing to have for him so just my overall experience um with jazz in this first week it hasn't been easy but it's been very rewarding because it's really nice sometimes you do see that he's extremely happy and the mere fact like he's very comfortable with me and very loving as you can see he likes to sleep on me and my lap and whatnot um so you definitely feel like that there is the bond that you were like i think that was the one thing i was very nervous about is like what if he actually feels like damn i should have stayed where i was <laughs> so it's nice to actually see the bond it's nice to see him grow um, and it's just tough the potty training itself is actually tough um, but it's very nice because I've got a lot of support at home um, with the video calling with the advising with the be patient with the you know um, and also just like how excited my family is to have him as part of the members the jazz and team it's quite exciting and oh another thing about puppies is they sleep a lot like he sleeps about 18 to 20 hours in a day but oh papas oh my sweetie okay okay but when he's up he's up i'm gonna stop talking so you can sleep now oh oh it's not wake up girl oh it's not focus no kaloko funa no mama ah why do you want to bite my <laughs> Just <laughs> what the hell? This is new. This is new. Another thing. I, this is new. Papa Lala, hello. Who are Lala? Ah, man, pin the club position. There we go. There we go. Oh, another thing I've learned about Boston Terriers is that they're very. Their skin can be very sensitive. So I can see when he's hot and overheating. Um, I can also, he's also got a bit of dry skin. Oh, you want to sleep like this? Funtin. Funamans. 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 Up. Funamans. Up. And there he goes to go drink some water. Um, so you can definitely tell when he's like hot, irritated, overheated. He doesn't like to sleep with a blanket. Um, what else about jazz? Um, like I, it's just the behavior that you learn and watch um, and during the day has a lot of energy.
Okay, okay, okay. Let's not do that. <laughs> so it's soft, isn't it? Come. Yes, better. Mornings, nights, we get along. During the day, in Basel. But yeah, so just a few hints and tips for anyone obviously that's getting a pet. Number one, make sure you really want a pet. Like, <laughs> it's a lot of work um, and it requires a lot of patience and a lot of love and a lot of uh, like lenience. And number two, it's very expensive. I think the initial costs are quite expensive and like, so like, but at the end of the day, you don't want to skimp on some important costs um, so I mean where you can you can get like cheaper alternatives um, for the important stuff um, make sure that you, you try your best to get the best I guess um, and yeah so so that's a, another factor there's a lot of things you need you need well for me I, I don't want to wash my dog in the same bath so it's a bath for him it's his shampoos it's his brush it's his toothbrush, it's his toothpaste, it's it's his blankets. Um, I think having two blankets is also important. Um, I keep one in the crate, one in his bed. Okay, so having a bed, having a crate, well, I didn't think I was gonna get a crate so quickly, but then I could see the need. Having a crate, having a bed, having your toys that he can chew on because he's starting to teeth. Um, what else is it? Having a scoop for his poo-poo, um, what else? towel for him to, to be clean it's his bowls water food um i'm trying to get him into a collar a lead like there's lots of things and i know that there's still lots of things that i'll need to get but those are still like the initial cost so the first thing i did was to try and break them down like i first got the bed and then all of the other expenses thereafter but like it was really breaking it down and for me getting like a quality bed was was important that will hopefully last him long um i know that the crate is going to outgrow so at some stage i'm gonna have to get rid of this one get him a bigger one um but i mean there's there's quite a lot that goes into actually getting a, a dog to make sure that even like financially you're prepared mentally you're prepared and I think number three from a time perspective trying to make sure that you have time to learn his behaviors to see what he needs to so for me it's fortunate that I'm working from home so I can monitor and I can look and I can pick up stuff I think it's very important for when you are learning your dog knowing what he does when he's gonna do XYZ or whatever or how he's feeling and I think for me you'll see in in some of the footage um, I didn't leave the house for some time so guys Today is Sunday. Um, Jazz has been around for I think this is this is am I tell you, I think I know it's his third day. Mm. And this is the first time that I've left home and left him alone. I've been gone for 42 minutes now. I left when I left he was sleeping. Um, he just had like something to eat. Um, yeah, he had something to eat, went to the bathroom, and now he was sleeping after his meal. After his meal, um, so yeah, like separation anxiety is so real because I'm just like, I need to quickly get everything done so I can go home, not for anything specific, like, I don't need to do anything, but I just, yeah, and plus it's raining, um, he's not able to go outside and also it was thundering so i don't know how scared because puppy's almost scared of everything in the beginning so i don't know how he's reacting to the thunder um so that's just yeah a worry and stuff but anyway i thought it would feel better being able to breathe <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is and yeah let me not stay too long um let me not stay too long because I need to um, get some stuff, some stuff for him as well, and then I'm gonna go home. And yeah, um, I think the another thing is number four, 
I don't know if it was three or four. Four, um, I'd actually gotten to a point where my everything was about him and then I decided one day that I need to ensure that also I get to do my stuff. So that's the day when I actually left the house to go do my things and come back. Um, I think you can so quickly like learn and it's important, yes, to pour yourself into, into the pet, but also just making sure that you're also okay in the process. And I think it's also important that when you're on the journey to becoming a mom or a new dad, that you really have a nice support structure. Um, and that's like for me it's been it's been amazing like every day I get called or I call or I get a video call and like my family is so supportive my friends two of my friends have actually met him um, they love him and yeah make sure that you choose a breed that's very suited for you like do your research so for me I was caught between a Boston Terrier and a Frenchie um, and all of the other breeds obviously before so what I was looking for when I got a Boston I was looking for a dog that doesn't shed a lot at the moment he does shed because he's shed quite a bit like lately because he's got new pigment coming through and it's also just his um, puppy fluff so I was looking for a dog that is like that doesn't shed too much or need too much grooming um, and that's why I didn't get a heavily furry dog um, I was also looking for a dog that he doesn't their Boston Terriers um, are not known to be barkers so they don't like bark a lot um, so that's something that's that's great for me because bananas <laughs> Um, when you get a Boston, some things to watch out for. Skin can be very sensitive because the, the coat is very short. So I know with um, Jazz, he doesn't like chemical shampoos. I got a chemical shampoo for, for, for him. Although, like, we shouldn't. But, I mean, someone at the pet shop had recommended, bye-bye, had recommended the chemical shampoo. So I went with it um, because he used it for his other dogs with with skin that's not as sensitive so thereafter he started getting dry skin it was itchy it was I think it was just very uncomfortable for him I even washed him like twice to like try and get it off like completely um, another thing that makes Boston Boston Terrier high energy so they need they need you to play they need you to be part yeah so how I chose between a French Bulldog and the Boston Terrier is based off number one their physique so they look very similar um but the boston terrier has it's got a slimmer build they grow a bit taller than a frenchie and also their back legs are very active so the reason why i i went with that is although both of them are not made for hectic um exercise and training and whatnot just because of like their flat snout so it's easy for them to to overheat um the Boston Terrier tends to be a bit more active than the French Bulldog. Another thing you need to learn about your Boston Terrier or like your Boston Terrier and your Frenchie, your French Bulldog, they fought a lot. So, so that's just another one. So I didn't know. I just thought French Bulldogs fought a lot, and then I started picking up men by year all the time. Um, <laughs> all the. And especially if he's sitting on me, yo, then and it smells so bad. Um, so I, I've learned that <laughs> that's something I need to accept about him. He farts a lot, um, and yeah. So you just kind of need to be prepared for those things. Boston Terrier is stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. He's very naughty. Um, but another thing to expect from puppies is that they bite and they but they outgrow that some of it is teething it's just about getting him the right toys etc but anyway i think i have shared enough and i hope you guys enjoyed this video you enjoyed the footage and seeing when i got my new baby um i don't think he's interested <laughs> in saying goodbye he's busy chewing on my gown um that she got yeah so uh he's quite a busy puppy hopefully he'll be going to bed very soon and yeah thank you for watching um if you are getting a puppy anytime soon or you're interested in a puppy let me know what kind of a puppy or what kind of a pet are you looking for um and like yeah just yeah and if you are a pet owner 
How was your first week? Let me love and leave you. I can't do the because my hands. <laughs> anyway, uh, until next time, guys. <laughs>